what's poppin' everybody? Today I have for you guys the Turtle Blimp Wacky Attack Aircraft. Let's get this thing unboxed. What's going on everybody and welcome back. As I said to you guys, I've got the Turtle Blimp re-release from Walmart. Um, I was fortunate enough to able to get the link, order it online, get it in. So I'm super excited about that. This will definitely go well with the party wagon I have and the retro turtle figures. So we're, we're I guess we're, we're going all in on retro stuff for the turtles. So this is actually really cool. This is the first time that they've re-released this. Um, there's a few different things from this one than there were with the original one. Uh, one of the main things that I know about that I've actually spoken to Diamond Dave about was the, um, they didn't have these cords for the turtles to drop. They actually had bombs that they originally dropped. Um, the artwork on the box is a little different, but other than that, I say we uh, do a quick look at the box, get this thing cracked open, and uh, let's see how cool this really is. All right, guys, and here is your look at the box. As you can see, kind of similar to the artwork from the old style packaging. The box that I got in wasn't in the best condition. It was a little banged up, so thanks, Walmart, for that. Um, as you guys can see here on the back, gives you a bunch of information, some product images, tells you about all the pieces and everything that gets attached to it. It blows up to be 30 inches long. This turtle blimp is going to be huge. And again, more product images on the size than you can see the nice damaging that Walmart shipping did on the box. So, so, so much, so much for, uh, for having a decent box. And you guys can see that nice little crease right there. So thank you, Walmart. Thank you always for your great packaging. But still, the box art's really cool. I really enjoy this. Um, I always like the retro style packaging. You know, gives you the gives you the feels that you had when you were a kid and you were opening this stuff up for the first time. So guys, let's go ahead now and let's get this thing unboxed. Right, guys so here it is fully assembled and man i'm glad i got my breath back Woo, blowing that thing up was fun so as you guys can see here is the teenage mutant ninja turtles logo right here um we got some of the engine components um a lot of cool lettering and stickering on there which is kind of cool um obviously the handle really nice um these plastic pieces here that go into these ports which actually hold the turtles they don't actually stick in there um very well and i'm afraid that if you put a turtle in there it might not support the weight and this might come out um but ever but however very easy easily to um assemble um the other thing to keep in mind too is that i again i was speaking to dave and dave got a little excited when he was doing his so he before he uh, when he blew this up and then tried attaching the pieces the instructions clearly state that you should attach the pieces before blowing it up just so it's it's a lot easier to maneuver um and i did it that way and obviously you guys saw how fast i got it done obviously time via time lapse but still overall 
really cool piece, really nice for the re-release. Um, Got to figure out now where the hell I'm going to hang this or put this in the room. But again, really cool, easy to assemble. Um, again, just be very wary of these uh, clips right here, um, only because, again, they fall out. They pop out very easily. Um, as far as the... Um, you know, you can see like the I'm turning the uh, turning the hooks and the string is retracting up with it, so you don't have to worry about those. But again, pretty uh, pretty cool. Uh, you know, especially for all you uh, retro ones out there that don't want to pay the money, I guess, for the uh, the original blimp. Because I guess from what I heard, that that's kind of on the pricey side. Especially if you're trying to find one mint in box. Loose might be another story, but mint in box is a whole nother ball game. But yeah, this is, this is actually a pretty cool piece for anybody who is a vintage um, turtle collector. I'm kind of diving into the vintage stuff myself, even though I said I wasn't going to. But you know what? It just brings back too many really cool memories as a kid. So why not? Why not? But again, really cool. I'm going to have to get more turtles now. To, I'm gonna have to go to bits and buttons now and get more loose turtles so I can actually put them in here and display them with the turtles because the retro turtles I have are still on card I'm actually sending those out to get graded, but that's just because I want something graded for myself, but again Really cool overall design is fantastic um, This obvious the uh, the blow-up piece um, You know, I'm sure they've come a long way from back in the day of vintage time So, uh, you know, I don't see any holes felt any air leaks or anything um, it's pretty solid construction otherwise, um, but I like this. I like this a lot. This is really cool. This will be a nice piece to find a spot that maybe hangs somewhere from the ceiling or something like that. And yeah, guys, so if I had to give this turtle blimp a rating, I would give it a rating of... Fuck yeah! I love it. Thanks, guys, for joining me on another unboxing and partial review of the Turtle Blimp Wacky Attack Aircraft. So, again, this is really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um... If you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time more unboxing and reviews like this get uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we always offer right here at MCE. And until next time, guys, that's what's popping. Cowabunga!